Today on our Ambassador Series, we have Bob Tyson from Kuwait City. Welcome, Bob. Thanks for your time. Welcome, Bruce. So Australia and Kuwait established diplomatic relations in 1974. How would you describe their relationship? It's a strong and solid relationship with a considerable amount of substance, particularly in, in trade and investment, but also in other sectors, in the services, and also in the defence sector, where we, we share a broad commitment to stability uh, across the region. So where are the best prospects for expansion in the future? Well, at present, the trade relationship, which is worth about a billion dollars, is essentially uh, motor vehicles, livestock, food products of various kinds. Uh, we can certainly expand that, in my opinion, uh, through to include much more in the area of construction, uh, infrastructure development, uh, resource uh, management, project management, uh, tourism, uh, more students. There's quite a lot of potential and, and for that purpose we're opening an Austrade office in Kuwait in September this year. You mentioned student flows before. What's happening in the education relationship? Well we have at this point about 1500 tertiary students from Kuwait at Australian universities. That figure I'm sure can be expanded further. We do have uh, approximately three, two or three times a year we have education open days in, in Kuwait uh, for which purpose around 20 Australian universities attend. That uh, is attracting more students and I think you know that figure can probably be doubled in due course. We also have other potential areas in the education sector, curriculum development, um, we could spend more time uh, perhaps on, um, on training programs, on, on staff exchange. There are various options that have not yet been fully explored but it certainly is a growing area. There's a steady flow of Kuwaiti tourists to Australia. Are these numbers still rising? Yes, they are, partly because our visa system is much uh, more user-friendly than it was a few years ago. The numbers are still not large, but in the, in the thousands, but uh, they're growing quickly. Uh, Kuwaitis like coming to Australia. They like the, the Gold Coast, as most people from the Gulf do. Uh, they also um, spread to areas beyond the Gold Coast, and I think then they're high-value tourists, and uh, I think that those numbers will expand further, especially if we spend a bit more money, frankly, on promotion than we do at present. Early on you mentioned the defence relationship. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? The defence relationship is uh, uh, strong and steady and really dates back, I suppose, to 1991, where we were members of the coalition that expelled Has uh, Saddam Hussein's forces from Kuwait. Since then we've had an, an ongoing training program, not a large one, but a significant one, uh, an exchange program. We have Australian uh, students every year at the Kuwaiti Staff College. Uh, we share, uh, uh, as I mentioned, a commitment to stability in the region. Uh, we, there's also a law enforcement uh, component where we work together to uh, uh, counter terrorism across the region. And uh, I, I think and I expect that that relationship will continue. What two words would you choose to, to sum up the relationship between Australia and Kuwait? Well, I think warm and substantial. And if I could add some further words, I, mean, I think there's a great deal of potential for further expansion and I confidently expect that, that the relationship will continue to grow. Thanks for your time, Bob. That was Australia's Ambassador to Kuwait City, Bob Tyson.